Speaking of let's go, let's check out our problem of the day. This one has had a lot of good response on Facebook. We have, I'm going to give credit to Melissa, Margie, and Mark. Oh, hey, oh, let me start with M. Now, what happened? The rest of you folks out there have different letters starting your first name. We want to hear from you. This story is about Joan, who has test grades of 92, 85, 96, and 98. And she's going to take an exam that's going to count like two of those test grades. So what exam grade must she do to maintain a minimum 92.5, which is a minimum A average? Now, some of you might go like, okay, let's take a look at this one and see what's going on. Because some of you are probably asking, what's so important about 92.5? Well, let's take a look at this, all right? First of all, with what we've got going here, when we have these test grades, we're going to add them up, and we've got to get an average, which means we're going to not divide by 4, nor five, but actually it's going to be six when we get these things in there. So we're going to have to think of it in that respect, a little more complicated than it may seem, but we've got to get a 92.5. Now, in the state of Tennessee, 93, yes sir, 93 is where that minimum A is for high school uh, in the public school system, all right? And if you have a 92.5, guess what? That rounds up, and that's as close, close a call as you can make to get it rounded up to an A. All right, so that's why that's minimum put in that way rather than say 93 or 92, but we're going to go for that 92.5, and I trust me, I've had students that worked for that very, very fine line of A and B there. So let's see where we're going to take it, how we're going to figure this out, because we've got four scores, we know that. We know how to find an average. We know we're going to have basically six scores when it's all over, but we're missing two of those. However, those two get to count the same, so let's check it out. We're going to take 92, we're going to add 85. Ooh, had a little rough day there it looks like, but Joan, Joan's a pretty good student, but she rebounds pretty well here. Uh, 96 and a 98. So we got two unknowns. They are the same amount though, however, so this makes this rather easy. So we're going to take an X and another X, and that's going to give us all six grades. Now what do we do with those? We're going to divide them by the number, because that's how we find an average. We take, add them together, and divide by the total number, which happens to be 6 in this problem. And we're going to say that is equal to, you got it, what? 92.5, yes, there we go. All right, everybody with me? So there's how we're going to set this thing up. Notice I've left X's here because we're going to, oh yeah, we're going to do a little algebra. Some of you could have played with the numbers, and some of you may have done that to figure out what the final average is. But the algebra equation will take us there, and probably a lot quicker, especially if these numbers were all over the place, all right, and wide ranging. So they're pretty close, which makes it a little bit easier maybe to take an educated guess at it. But remember, uh, we might have a fraction over here. We never know. So let's check and see where this is going to go. We're going to take this 6 times 90, 92 and 5 tenths, all right, 92.5. So you say, Ernie, why'd you do that? I'm going to put a little 1 in here. We could play a proportion. We could also do some like terms coming together. Let's get those like terms coming together a little bit. So at this point, let me go to the calculator just a second, guys. And let's take 92. We're going to add. Not going to. Yeah, we're going to add. That's perfect. Good job, Ernie. You hit the right key. Um, 85. We're going to add 96. On top of that, we're going to add 98 and see where we are at this point. Wow. Looks like we are at 371. So we're going to make this a little bit easier to look at. We're going to say 371 plus 2x over 6, you got it, equals to 92.5. Now I feel a lot more comfortable, all right? You say, why do you feel more comfortable? I just don't have all this string of numbers there. We took care of them. We added them up. They came out just what we wanted them to. So what we're going to do now is we're going to play a little cross-multiply game. This isn't going anywhere, but this certainly is going to work together. I'm going to multiply it, or those of you who are out there saying, Ernie, just tell them to use the reciprocal effect. Well, yeah, we could also multiply by 6 over 1. Either way, if you want to look at it that way, cross multiplying is going to get you there. You're still going to multiply 92 and a half times 6. And again, we're going to go back to our trusty calculator and see what that does for us. 92 and a half, or 92.5, times your 6, and we're going to get, looks like 555. And that's a nice thought because it's so much easier to work with this little algebra moment now with 555 rather than crazy, crazy um, fractions and all involved there, okay? At this point, 
Oh, we got a 2x to play with. So you know the game, my friends? Everybody knows the game, right? We want x by itself. We're going to subtract 371 from both sides. And that, again, you know me. I want to go to the calculator because we're running on time here. But let's go with the minus 371, excuse me. And that gives us 184, which is kind of nice. You say, why is that nice, Ernie? Because it's even. It's an even number, and I'm going to have to divide by 2 to get to this final result, which is 184 divided by 2. Let's just swing it right up there. And dear friends, we have x equaling what? Divide both sides by 2. We can squeeze that in on the screen there. How about it? 92. That's where we're going to end up. Does it work? Let's let the calculator do it for us, all right? Let's go back here, clear everything out, and let's tack it in there, see if it works. And then we're going to get, I understand the uh, color weighting, so we're going to get taking care of that. Let's see, we've got, uh, we already know what those add up to, right? They add up to 371. So we're going to take 371, and we're going to add the other two grades, which we said are going to be 92. We could have said also 2 times 92. Some of you are saying, could we do that? Sure. I'm just going to put them in there separately. We get a number, which is 555. We divide that by 6. Divide it by 6. And you know what we got? 92 and a half, and it does. We start there, we ended up here, it checks out. And there, folks, that's your problem of the day.